You're watching Fox 45 Morning News. All local, all morning. Right, thank you, Candice. We're going to be talking about treating tumors in the um, in the uterus through your wrist. Which sounds amazing to me. Coming up, how the procedure works and why no hospitalization is needed. 7:13. As we begin our Breast Cancer Awareness Month starting tomorrow, because October, as we all know, that is when it is, there's another advancement being made in women's health. And we're talking about fighting uterine tumors through your wrist. Here now, Dr. Brian Swalla with MedStar Health Vascular and Interventional Radiology. So good morning for you. Good morning. Hey, this is, uh, there's some advancements. We were just talking about this. This isn't something that's brand new, but the way that we're changing it though is something where you're fighting fibroids and, but we're going through the wrist. It seems like there's gotta be a closer way to get right, to the right. uterus. Well, traditionally, yes. I mean, you would think the, we would go through the artery and the groin, which is much closer to the pelvis, but there's actually bleeding complications related to going to the groin. Um, there is, uh, actually for me, it's actually easier to come from the wrist and come straight down. How is that aorta. though? Because you're going through the arteries, right? I mean, you're right. using the veins, the arteries there. Yeah, it's, we are it's... using the artery and the wrist. Yeah. And it's actually, um, it, we just uh, make a turn up in the chest, come all the way down. For the patients, the biggest thing is their recovery. It's just so much easier to get up and moving when you've gone you know, through the wrist rather than going through the groin. It's minimally two hour recovery from the, or at least two hours with your legs straight, up to six hours, you know, with your legs straight uh, when we would go through the groin. Now it's, women can literally get off the table and, you know, walk to the recovery area. I was reading a little bit, uh, some doctors are even saying they could be almost sitting up during this or at least inclined during this. Is that true? Uh, yes, that's true as well. We typically, women are typically laying flat with their arm out, but yeah. yes, uh, positioning is a little bit easier. Uh, in a lot of ways and just more comfortable for them during the procedure. Your job is basically to make procedures less invasive. I mean, that's, and this is the epitome of that. Yeah, it absolutely is. I mean, the fact that we can uh, essentially treat, you know, from the wrist down to the pelvis, get women, some women home the same day, um, you know, recovering within, you know, three to four days back to work. Um, you know, back to their usual routine and seeing a you know major improvement in their symptoms. And, and, and let's talk a little bit more about some of those symptoms real quick. We'll, we'll back up and go to the front. Sure. Fibroids, uh, these tumors, what, what are they? So the tumors are basically, uh, they form in the wall of the uterus. They cause heavy bleeding, which is usually most women's uh, main concern during their menstrual periods. Uh, the other big thing is pressure on the bladder, so it causes a lot of urinary symptoms and then pain. And a lot of women, uh, they would like to avoid having their uterus removed. That's a big surgery, right. six to eight weeks of recovery. With fibroid treatment um, through, the, through the wrist or you know, if we have to go through the groin, they can be literally back to work within a week. And their symptoms start seeing an improvement within a month. Right. Dr. Swallow, with, we appreciate it with MedStar. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us to kind of give us a little glimpse on this. I appreciate Federal it. Federal procedures here. Yeah. Thank you. All right, now we need to find out a little bit.